with Mr. Q. He will show you what and how to do. How to with Mr. Q. He will show you what and how to do. Well, hi friends, welcome to How To with Mr. Q. Today, we're gonna learn about this instrument, the drum. I think the drum is one of the most interesting instruments that we have, because without the drum, well, music wouldn't have a beat. It wouldn't have a rhythm. You know, you wouldn't feel it in your bones. Yeah, and the drummer, well, I think the drummer is one of the most important musicians in a band, because without the drummer, well, all the other members might either be playing too fast, or too slow, because the drum and the drummer, well, it helps keep time in music. Just like the clock tells you what time it is, well, the drummer tells the other musicians how fast to play, or how slow to play, or whether to speed up or to slow down. Pretty amazing, huh? Well, today we're gonna learn how to make a drum, and it's really not that difficult. All you need is a couple things. Well, one thing you need is this is a balloon. And you can get this balloon at any, 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 any party store or grocery store, anywhere. The next thing that you need is one of these. And this might be a little tougher to get. It's a cardboard tube. And not just any cardboard tube. It's a pretty thick cardboard tube, as you can see. Well, you can find these. And if you use the internet or the yellow pages, well, you can find them at a carpet supply store. And what carpet supply stores use them for is to wrap carpets around. And when, the, when they're done, well, usually they just throw them away or recycle them. And so if you were to go into the carpet supply store, you could ask them and say, hey, could I have one of these cardboard tubes? Now these cardboard tubes come really long. So you'll need mom or dad to help you to saw off little pieces because they are really thick and they're really hard to get through sometimes. All right, the other two things that you're going to need are a pair of scissors and a roll of tape. Masking tape is just fine. All right, now to make our drum, the first step is to just cut off the little end part right here, just like so. All right, and you can take this piece and you can just throw it away because you're not going to need it anymore. All right, the next step you want to do is you want to stretch your balloon out a little bit. All right, because you're going to want to be able to put it around your cardboard tube. So just a little stretch, a little bit of a stretch. stretch, 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 stretch. Now, I have found the easiest way to put the balloon onto my cardboard tube is to hold it between my knees, just like this. And then I take my balloon and I stretch it over the top, just like so, just like that. All right, and the last step to make sure the balloon stays on the cardboard tube well, I like to take some masking tape and just run it along the edge of my balloon, just like this. And just wrap it around and turn off the end, and there you go. You have a drum. Pretty cool, huh? All right, well, friends, that's how to make a balloon drum with Mr. Q. I look forward to seeing you again, and until next time, hey, keep on playing. How to with Mr. Q, he will show.